Hey everyone, I'm Dan from jazzcomposerspresent.com, an online space where composers, musicians, and listeners come together to celebrate the music we love. I'm joined today by Mehmet Ali Sanlikal, Grammy-nominated composer, multi-instrumentalist, and full-time faculty member at the New England Conservatory. Mehmet is here to show us his approach to writing program music for jazz orchestra. Thank you so much, Dan. It's a pleasure to be back at jazzcomposerspresent.com. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about a project we've done with uh, Dave Liebman. Uh, the album uh, was entitled The Rise Up, and it was entirely programmatic in nature because um, when Dave Liebman asked me to compose this um, album-length uh, composition, he also specified that it be historical in nature and, uh, and, and programmatic. Uh, and of course, uh, once I got this kind of a request from, you know, one of the uh, uh, living legends of jazz, I took it very seriously. And um, it also wor worked really well for me because uh, I tend to actually compose even more, um, uh, I, I tend to compose more solid work uh, if and when I'm able to engage in historical material uh, and so on and so forth. So um, what was difficult about the Rise Up was finding the right stories and uh, and bringing them together in a fashion, you know, so that, that the entire album made sense. But today I'm going to focus on a particular movement um, out of the nine different movements that make up this entire album. Uh, and this particular movement is the second uh, out of nine, and the entire album was constructed in three large sections. So I had the first three movements focus on the story uh, of uh, the great Persian uh, mystic uh, Rumi. And as some of you may know, uh, Mevlana Jalaleddin Rumi is buried in uh, Turkey. Uh, and um, his spiritual followers, the so-called whirling dervishes, uh, happen to be very important in the cultural landscape of Turkey, which is where I'm from, which is where I'm originally from. Uh, so um, that, too, was very important and quite personal for me. And for those of you who may know, I actually have a lot of uh, performance practice experience in classical and traditional Turkish musics too. So um, in any case, the story that I picked from Rumi's life um, has to do with him meeting another mystic uh, named Shems. Uh, those of you who may be familiar with Rumi's life uh, will know that up until Rumi met Shems, uh, he was he was more of an enlightened cleric, uh, and and everyone uh, in in where he was living in Turkey, which is the town of Konya, um, he was actually beloved. Uh, you know, he was loved by everyone, all the townspeople, and 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 so he was a beloved figure. Uh, but when he met Shems, who was a dervish, a mystic uh, dervish. Uh, he had, you know, a, a, an incredible uh, spiritual growth of sorts. And, and his life in, in mysticism, they say, began after that moment. So um, in, in the story that I, I picked, uh, I wanted to focus on that particular moment, uh, followed by how things actually um, Turned, got upside down and, and ended up with uh, people of Konya murdering Shems. So uh, for the end result, once I you know finished the composition, etc., and we were getting ready to release this, I, I thought that, well, since there is so much uh, uh, story, you know, that, that, that is um, part of what I've done, I hired an, an animator and we created some animation. So let me get into the story a little bit more uh, to tell you about these pivotal scenes that I picked 
uh, in, in order to form uh, the compositional approach to this movement. So let's begin with the, the, the first uh, important part in the story. Now, uh, as you can see in this animation, um, a lot of the important characters of the town are, are coming together. Uh, and um, this is actually from a historical Ottoman miniature uh, depicting this moment when Shems and Rumi met. And supposedly the figure uh, on horseback is Rumi and the figure that uh, wears this tall hat is Shems. And here they greet each other and they hold hands and then they actually um, leave the people of the town and, and go off. And um, apparently, you know, the story continues that they, you know, um, Rumi starts getting hugely inspired by the, the lessons he received from Shems and, and starts uh, the, the famous mystical turning movement as he starts, you know, um, reciting poetry on the spot and so on and so forth. In any case, uh, the first point I'd like to, to uh, make here is that the moment to me that Shems and, and, and uh, Rumi met was a very important uh, part in the story, in the, in the program music to Mark. So I had that as an important beginning point. And then I also knew that I, I, I was going to, you know, go to a moment Later in the story, you know, the, the murder itself was going to be the kind of um, the big peak point that I was uh, aiming to end with this particular movement. But then in the middle, there's also a big change. Uh, the tone and everything changes because uh, apparently, in the, according to the story, uh, the people of the town start getting bothered by this relationship. So... Now we're seeing that these people that we've seen actually in the at the very beginning are, are you know showing these angry expressions. You'll also see some band footage. The way the video was cut uh, includes some of the, the footage um, with the band and Dave Liebman. But you see now we're moving toward the the murder itself. Why were the town in, people pissed off? Well, you know according to this story. Uh, their beloved Rumi was stolen from them and Rumi completely forgot about all of the town. You know, imagine some very famous cleric, you know, abandoning all of his people and just starting to, you know, do some sort of mystical dance, etc. And, and, you know, so apparently the, the people of the town became furious and they plotted a murder and they killed Shems. So, um, and, and that's how the movement ends. So from a compositional perspective, uh, my uh, approach was that, okay, I had kind of three points in the story um, I marked. And in this particular case, the structure that I created was quite straightforward, actually. Um, I, once I marked the moment where Rumi and Shems met, then I started kind of uh, creating a, a growth of that, that theme, that friendship, not necessarily in any you know, dissonant tones, but with a lot of ostinatos and, and you know, a, a, a lot of orchestration that was getting thicker and thicker and thicker. You'll hear a little bit of that now. we 
that uh, section gets thicker and thicker and also gets different layers of ostinati um, uh, that get, you know, um, uh, on top of each other and becomes more and more and more uh, kind of vigorous. But doesn't necessarily change the overall tone. Um, it just gets bigger and bigger, kind of symbolizing that growing friendship, relationship, and, and mystical uh, drive. But then once uh, Dave Liebman comes in as the soloist, the tone of the music changes to, you know, a much more uncomfortable uh, uh, overall harmonic construction and, and, and melodic construction. And, and that, of course, represents the growing discomfort among the townspeople and so on and so forth. And once I bring the, uh, the, the jazz orchestra back in, and which you may have realized, in this case, it's an expanded jazz orchestra with French horn, oboe, and so on and so forth. Once I bring it back in, we're, we're really now nearing the moment when um, uh, the townspeople actually decide to murder Shems. So now we're going to listen to that second part uh, with the, 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 the band coming in behind Dave Liebman uh, soloing and building up to the moment of the murder, which you will be able to tell. Big no, you know, big unisons, uh, big octaves at the end are the stabs in the video. They're actually kind of uh, synchronized. But anyway, so overall, I think um, if you have a story and and you'd like to, you know, approach that uh, in a, a program music fashion, I think it's a good strategy to pick those dramatic points in the story first out that you want to mark. And then find lyrical ways of tying them together and create an overall compositional architecture based on that. In this case, in a vicious murder, um, the overall architecture was actually simple. Uh, it was kind of like you know a, a first section and a second section um, with you know a, 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 a little bit of a turn in the middle, but. Um, it could, you know, these things can become quite sophisticated, uh, and, um, and nevertheless, you can still easily follow the, the story. Thanks for watching today's mini lesson. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Drop any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos down below. To watch our full length events and participate in live Q&As with our presenting artists, head to jazzcomposerspresent.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.